What's up YouTube, this is Mr. Random Ziga one and today I'll be showing you how to update your reset glitch hack slash JTAGs console to the latest dashboard which is 16197. What you're going to be needing is your CPU key, your NAD dump, the latest version of XE build, and Flash 360. Okay, so first step is to get your CPU key. All you need to do is go to your reset glitch hack slash JTAG, press the eject button, and wait for Excel to uh, show up. Wait for a few seconds, and at the bottom, it will say your CPU key. Once you get your CPU key, you want to right click, go to uh, a new text document, and just paste your CPU key right in here. All right. Once you have that done, want to get your XE build, uh, the link will be in the description, and Flash 360. So you want to right click on Flash 360 and extract here. And for XE build, you want to right click and extract to XE build. Now um, plug in your USB. And open folders to view uh, to view file, and you want to drag your Flash 360 in there. Flash 360 will help you get your NAND dump. All right, so once that's done, let's head over to the reset glitch hack. All right, now we're at the reset glitch hack slash JTAG, whatever you want to call it, and you just want to boot it up. My recent glitch hack has a really fast boot times. Did use a quarter one or three light for it. Anyways, so just plug in your USB or flash drive. And you uh, you wanna go to XCX menu. I'll just quickly show you in system settings that it is on one five five seven four. Right there. All right, let's head over to Quick Play and run XCX Menu One Point Two. All right, so I want to press RB and your flash drive will show. And I have Flash Three Sixty right there. You just want to hit A and run the Flash Three Sixty XCX. Press X to back up current NAND to file and press A to save it. All right, we're back to the PC, so uh, just plug in your flash drive to the PC and open up folder to view files go to your flash 360 folder and you'll see your flash dmp dot bins just minimize that and open up XE build run it as admin um, go to source file and open up your flash dmp so go to your flash drive and open up flash dmp dot bin uh, for output path, you want to save in the same directory, so just go to your computer, removable flash drive, and go to the same directory and just save it there. Um, everything will be auto detected, so just make sure everything's the same. Uh, put the kernel version to 16197, it should be already to that. And now you're going to want your CPU key, so just grab your CPU key that you had earlier, copy it, and you're going to want to paste it in the CPU key section. Once done, uh, all you need to do is just press generate hacked image and it will work its magic it's gonna come up saying do you want to close it just press yes and we're gonna copy the upd flash to the root of the flash drive we're not gonna use flash 360 to flash the NAND so just copy the upd flash dot bin and you want to paste it into the root of the flash drive. All 
Alright, so now we're done. So you want to safely remove your flash drive from the PC and we're going to head over to the reset glitch hack slash JTAG. Alright, we're not going to use Flash360 to write the new update flash.bin. We're going to use Excel. So plug in your USB flash drive and you want to boot your JTAG slash reset glitch hack into Excel. So just hit the eject button. Gonna wait for Excel to show. Once Excel reloaded shows up, it will recognize the updi flash.bin and write it. Alright, once it's done, it will say to shut down now, so you just want to press power button. Now for slims, I'm not sure if this is necessary. I know you're supposed to unplug everything, so unplug everything. Uh, for the fat console, you're supposed to unplug everything, including the hard drive, so I'm not sure if it's necessary for the slim, but I'll just do it just in case. And you just want to let it sit there for about 30 seconds. Alright, I just put everything back together. It's been about a minute and let's boot it up. Alright. I have freestyle dash to be installed, so let's go to system settings. Quantum settings. Right there. 16197. I'll just uh, launch XCX menu to show that it still works. There. Alright, if this helped you, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me, and thanks for watching.